Hello my soccer universe. I really hate to say it, but at the moment the Austrian Bundesliga is really meh. So many draws, it's too tight, everything has too much at stake. I think the whole league reform that should make everything exciting does do anything but, especially in the bottom group. So again, we had a round with very minimal goals. I think there were two nil nils in there, three one ones, one one nil and a two two. So the goal uh, average is going down. And in addition, there was only one winner and of course one loser. And who is that loser? Yeah, the guys playing in pink. And there was, of course, another protest out there that was so creative that I really will spend some time talking about that as well. But I actually want to start this video not in the, in the league because there was some exciting thing happening in Austria this past week. And this was, of course, the cup round. We had the semifinals. The first semifinal between Leom and Rapid was not much of, of a game, to be honest. Yes, Leom had a pretty big chance to make the upset, but then Rapid scored uh, very, very quickly. Uh, it was an own goal through Alili, and then uh, Christopher Lang makes it in 42nd 2 0, and lay down and stop Ishan Mayulu makes it 3 0, makes it relatively easy for a bit they reach the cup final by playing only lower division opponents that is the luck of the draw one has to say for sure on the flip side we had a replay of the top duel from the past weekend the one that ended in a big melee uh, where um, you know two Sturm players got uh, banned and uh, the, both of them were then banned for the cup cup game plus a Salzburg player uh, then in addition but the one that had probably the most egregious uh, 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 <laughs> offense, if, if you would like, Uma Sole was not banned, and the reasoning for that was uh, that the VAR referee looked at the exact uh, right pictures, but he made, came to the wrong decision, so that's why we cannot overturn this one, and I find this probably the weakest excuse I've ever heard for anything. Um, and it was, of course, Soleil who gave Salzburg uh, the 1-0 lead in the 10th minute. Salzburg then, I think, for the first 20 minutes, a little bit better. Böving out of nowhere, I mean, it was a nice hover chip over the goalie, and Böving then had it really hard in the 25th minute to equalize, but then Sturm actually gained the upper hand already in the first half, and then early in the second, they make it 2-1 uh, through Horvath, then Schneck in the 72nd makes it 3-1. Sucic, Simin put some excitement back in, in, in into the game uh, by uh, making it 3-2 and I have have said the Horvath goal there was a big a goalie mistake and also a Sucic goal uh, for Salsa Salzburg the goalie did not look good however a minute later Guy Hover re-established a two goal lead that only very uh, late and Terzic who had just came on made it 3-4 it was a really crazy game really open game uh, it ends with a 4-3 win for Sturm Graz, who again beat Salzburg away from home, are again in the cup final, and we again have the two biggest fan bases meeting in the cup final. 1st of May, uh, it will be again a major show uh, case for Austrian so so soccer, especially for the fan cultures. Um, I would expect many fireworks again. Fireworks is exactly what we didn't get, especially in the qualification group or relegation group, as I like to call it. It's all stale draws. I mean, Altach Tirol, nil nil. Austria Vienna, Lusna. Austria Vienna took the lead through a super controversial penalty where even uh, Ranftl, who got fouled and later went to uh, the Lusna bench and said, This never was a foul. I just try, tried it and I succeeded. And then they look at it on VAR. When you just need to look at it, it's never a penalty. Fitz converts that, that one. Uh, but Lusna also got a penalty for Rodriguez. But this doesn't really help them gain any ground. They're not losing any, any ground, but the ground they've lost already is too big. And Blauweiss, Wolfsburg had an exciting start, a starting phase. Wolfsburg was better there. Wolfsburg twice hit the woodwork in, in the entire game. However, Blauweiss had also some good chances, but again, no goals. Uh, if we go then, what happened today in the championship round? Um, let's start in Graz. Sturm against Lask. Uh, it was, I knew Lask had another uh, injured player, you know, Schulis are, are already out, and Sears, our vice captain, uh, had a, a neck in, in, in injury, so he, he he's out. So uh, my 
hopes for this game. I actually was hoping that both of these could play, that we could play uh, with a full squad. And Sturm a little bit tired from the cup game, although on a high, I was really ho hoping that this would play in into it. However, Sturm, and I would say in the first half hour, really did not let Lusk breathe and was really daughter dominant. Took the lead through Pras uh, in the 20 20 minute after, uh, after there was already a big uh, chance by Bireth. Uh, there were a few other chances in there. Uh, right on the moment when Pras came, came in, uh, uh, scored a goal, the Lusk fans came in. And before we talk more about the game, because there was then a break in play where the Lusk fans unveiled the protest. And the protest was, of course, against, they were playing again unnecessarily in pink. When Sturm go to Lusk, Sturm play in black, Lusk play in white. And it works. Why they have to play in pink in Graz, again, makes no sense because actually the home jerseys will provide a much, much, much better contrast. I'm wearing the pink only because Lusk have been playing in pink, but not because I'm in big support of the color. And this is nothing against the color pink per se. The problem is that the company BWT is more or less demanding that Alask play a few select games in pink and not too little and then they hand over some cash. And this is what their protest has that, been against. I have mentioned this before, I need to say it again. Uh, but the protest was so, crea uh, so creative. I mean, they said uh, instead of best water technology, what BWT means, they say best wash technology. Wash is basically laundry, but also, you know, what uh, a slang term for what you, what the uh, players are wearing, so for jersey. And so they put out a big washing machine where they say uh, F uh, pink opened up the washing machine <laughs> it was really pulled up and then they pulled out some oversized black and red jerseys uh, straps this is what the fans would like this has been, has been the classic away jersey since the mid 90s it has actually not been used before for that uh, but then it was re established the black and uh, red uh, stripes is the away away jersey hung this on an imaginary uh, clothesline and then to top to top it off through washing tabs to wash out the pink onto the pitch, which of course disrupted the game. Took at least five minutes. Uh, disrupted also Sturm's um, movement forward a teeny bit, although I have to have to say uh, it did not look much better. However, at the end of the half, Havel had such a glorious chance where he puts it in, in the corner. It's an e equal. He puts it right on the goalie and it takes the ball, turns it around. It was not an easy shot to take, but that should, should have been the equal. It would not have been deserved because Sturm had more chance, a chance, although the game kind of was already even. Second half, again, I think early on Sturm a little bit better. Having actually good chances where Laval, who did not look uh, good, good on the go ahead, had, had goal. Um, made up for that big time and um, so Lask stay in, in the game and then when Sasha Horvath, our captain for, for the day, uh, make, makes a shot and injures himself as well, has to come off, so we're on the number four cap uh, captain there. Uh, but that actually started something, then there was a big chance for um, Moses Uso suddenly, but there was also other chances for Sturm, but then the game more and more tilted in favor of Lask, our Lask cannot get the shots right, it either it's too hastily, it's too waiting too long, or it's not bouncing right, you lose 1-0. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I, I can say. And then I say, at least Salsa, we will probably beat Rapid Vienna, so we still maintain this third spot, which is such on a thin, thin, thin thread. No, it was not to be, because uh, despite Salzburg having plenty of chances, Rapid get a late penalty to equalize. Uh, but before that, we have to talk also Klagenfurt against Hartberg, which was probably the best game of the entire round, although it's only fifth against sixth. Uh, but you know, they are in touching distance with Lask as well, and I'm afraid that one of these will catch us as well. Uh, that Hartberg had the lead at the half was probably a little bit lucky because there were quite a few chances for Klagenfurt. Entrup and Prokop gave uh, them the lead, gets us ahead and equalizer very late on. Klagenfurt get a penalty to split the points and it's a two to uh, draw and so those two teams also maintain more or less their positions and um, yeah we know now that uh, Rapid is in third place last and fourth I actually fear it will stay this way because Rapid actually look quite good on the upcoming weekend uh, yeah last place also Salzburg where Rapid hosts Klagenfurt I'm afraid not many points will be made um, uh, there. I think the gap might increase. I 
I wish that Lusk would finally convert their chances and get a little bit momentum going. Let's see, as long as they beat and get points against Hartmann and Klagenfurt, which is not easy, I think the season could turn out well. Still with a fourth place finish, not ideal, but at least you again get European uh, spots. And yeah, you have to go through quali quali qualification rounds, but at least you would enjoy some good seeding based on past results. But yeah, we have to see what okay, I, 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 I just feel the overall mood at the moment for around Lusk. Um, it's unfortunately not positive and it annoys me because it's needlessly be, it should be positive we have a new stadium everything should actually be good there are many great things happening it's just the performance on the pitch and this this contact uh, this um, controversy over the pink jerseys and the divergence of the club leadership from the fan base this is what's killing everything at this very moment but yeah we have to see where it's going. In any case, I'll be back reporting from the Austrian Bundesliga next weekend as well. Let me know if you know a similar situation. What do you think of the Austrian Bundesliga? As I said, at the moment, it's rather meh. At least we had the cup final. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!